Oh, that's a light. Um, this is testing. Hey, you guys, it's here. In honor of Halloween and my favorite month, October, I decided that let's have a little bit of fun on my page and let me tell you some of my ghost stories. I know that this is really popular on YouTube, actually. People, you know, coming out and telling some of their ghost stories. I didn't know this many people believed in ghosts. I didn't know this many people experienced a lot of ghost stuff. Me growing up, personally, a lot of weird crap and creepy paranormal stuff happened to me and my family. And I just thought that, you know, it, it, I mean, I've always been fascinated with the paranormal. And it's mainly because I've had such creepy encounters with things. But anyway, I'm going to jump right into this. This video is brought to you by... I can't eat! I'm broke, nigga! I'm broke! I have an insane amount of paranormal and creepy stories to tell. I was thinking about it last night when I was trying to like gather some stories to tell you. I was kind of creeping myself out. But I was like, why do I have so many stories? Like, why is my life so creepy? But um, it gives y'all some entertainment that my life is so creepy. So you're welcome. But um, this first particular story, it stuck out to me the most because it's like, it, it wasn't, it's not that recent. It was actually maybe eight years ago, but it was one of the, I felt like the biggest. And I wasn't the only person there. My sister was there too. But she moved to New York, so she's not here to co-host this video. I really wish she was here. But um, it's when we first moved around this area, and I was living with my mom. Right now, I'm, um, I have my own place. But when I was living with my mom, the house, I felt like maybe at some point there was a poltergeist there. What I mean by that is it didn't feel like there was an entity or a... Uh, like another another being there. It was just weird weird things happening that felt more poltergeisty. But then other times this particular story did not feel like poltergeist and I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um me and my little sister were at home alone. I was semi babysitting her, but she was old enough to take care of herself. But I was semi babysitting her. My parents went out to go get groceries. So we were chilling upstairs in my mom's room because my mom, at the time, she she had the only TV in the house. So we were in there watching Medium. I remember this like it was yesterday because I I was in love with Medium. I was in love with X Files. I was in love with a lot of creepy shows. Hence, that's probably why a lot of creepy things were happening to me. But um, we were watching Medium. I want to say it was in the warmer months because the window was open. This this pertains to something. The window was open, so um. I, I want to say it was in the warmer months. We're watching medium, and you know, life is just going by, and everything's great. It was it was nighttime, but um, then I hear the car pull up in the driveway. So I'm like, oh, they must be here. The car's pulling up in the driveway. So I look out the window, and there was the car was in the driveway. So I go downstairs, and as I'm going downstairs, um, I hear. Well, okay, let me give you all a little information about the house. The front door. It's creepy itself. Um, it has like a, the best way I could describe it is a judge's mallet, if that's what it's called. It has like, instead of a doorbell, it has like a little mallet thing. And you pull it up and you let it go or you, you know, knock on the door. And it's really loud. Like if people don't hear you knocking on the door, use that thing and it echoes throughout the streets. Like it's so freaking loud. So, but also when you're um, opening and closing the door, it kind of lifts up a little bit and it hits the door. So it's really, really loud. So, as I'm going downstairs, I hear, you know, the door open, and I hear the mallet thing as the door closes, so I'm like, they're definitely here. So, I get downstairs, nobody's in the house. Not making this stuff up, people. I'm starting to creep myself out. Um, nobody's in the house. So, I'm like, maybe, I, you know, I'm not thinking anything paranormal at this time. I saw the car in the driveway, so I'm like, maybe they went back outside. So, I get to the door. Mind you, the the time it takes me to get downstairs and the time that it takes them to come in the house and then go back outside the house, it, it, it'd be, you know, it, it didn't take me that long to get downstairs, basically. I ran downstairs. I was hungry anyway, so and I had groceries. So I get downstairs, nobody's there, so I'm like, they probably went outside. So I go to reach for the door to open it, but the door is locked. But it's as if the door was unlocked. Somebody came inside, somebody went back outside and locked the door. That would take at least 
10 to 15 seconds, you know, but it didn't take me 10 to 15 seconds to get down the stairs. I jetted down the stairs, like I said, I was hungry. So I'm like, the door's locked, that's weird. Okay, whatever, not thinking anything of it. I go, dumb me, I go outside, I open up the door and I go outside and there's no car in the driveway. So I'm kind of creeping out because my yard, the yard was really, really dark. There was no car in the driveway. I walked all the way out towards the mailbox, which is at the end of the house, just to make sure that they didn't park like really, really close to the backyard because the driveway was like pretty huge. I mean, you can you can park anywhere in there, but um, I didn't see a car, so I'm kind of putting a little pep in my step, and I'm like skipping back to the house, and I'm not trying to freak myself out. So I get in the house and I close the door, and I hear my sister coming downstairs because you know I guess she was coming to help me with the groceries. So she looks at me, I look at her, and I was like, they're not here. She's on, the way that the stairs are, is that if you're, if you're going up the stairs, you have like maybe three stairs, and then you have like this little island thing, and then it turns, and then you go up the stairs this way. So it's like stairs, island, turn, and you go up the stairs, and you know, go down the stairs, island, downstairs. So she's standing on the island, and she's looking at me, and I'm like, they're not outside. And we're kind of freaked out. At that very moment, we're looking at each other, freaked out. We hear, I'm not making this stuff up, people. We hear, <laughs> I feel like Kevin Hart when I say that, but seriously, we hear people walking upstairs. We have a wooden floor. It didn't sound like a creek. The house is old, so I mean, I, I know the little. We hear walking as though somebody had on, not heels, but like, maybe a heel or something, something that makes a, I'm walking on a wooden floor sound upstairs. We hear people walking upstairs. So she jets down the stairs, basically teleports down the stairs to me. I'm freaking out because I saw, I saw a car in the driveway. I know I did. The car's not there. The door was locked. People are walking upstairs. She's just coming from upstairs. So she did not see anybody pass her. I did not see anybody pass me. We jump into the bathroom that's right there at the end of the stairs. Now this bathroom has a bolt, I don't know why. Um, this bathroom has like a bolt in it, like a lock. So you go in there and you can lock yourself in. We locked ourselves in that bathroom and sat on the floor and held each other and cried. But I had to kind of stay a little bit brave. I'm like, it's all right, you know, mommy's coming home. In a little bit, we're gonna be good. We're holding each other. I'm like going through my brain, like what the heck? Is going on now prior to this creepy stuff was already happening in the house but this was the this was one of the biggest things I'm getting paranoid right now this is one of the biggest things like like we literally locked ourselves in the bathroom because it was at the point where it could be a ghost it could be you know something manifesting itself but it could also be a burglar but what are the chances of a burglar passing me and my sister and walking upstairs so we're in the bathroom I felt like for eternity we're just holding each other, sitting on the floor, and all of a sudden, we hear the door and the nozzle again, and we hear somebody walk in the house. So we're freaking out, and we're shaking, and we're shaking, and we're shaking. And then we hear my mom's like, Tiara, go get the groceries. And it was my mom. So, it I don't know, 10 minutes had passed, and then she finally came home. So we opened up the door. We're bawling. We're crying. She's like, what's wrong with you? And we told her the story. Obviously, she shrugged it off. My mom's one of those people. She actually said this out of her mouth. If you give it the energy, then, you know, things are going to happen. So, like, when we would tell her, creepy stuff was happening in the house, for the longest time, me and my sister were like, can we please move out of this house? Like, we hate it. But um, I'll give y'all a little bit more backstory of when we first moved in, in that house later. It, like, it was weird. It was a weird house. But, um, yeah, so that's one of my favorite stories right there. It was so, I don't know how to explain it. It was the creepiest feeling. It just sounded like people, like, it wasn't like people were walking back and forth, but it was like people were walking back and forth, but they had an agenda. Like, you could hear them, because it was, how many rooms were upstairs? I feel like four, four rooms in the bathroom were upstairs. And you could hear them walking back and forth upstairs, going into individual rooms. And it wasn't, it wasn't like, let me walk back and forth and back and forth. It was like, I'm going in the room to do something. It just sounded like, like multiple people. I'm like, it was just, it was so, so eerie. And I, like, I'm still, still to this day, why, like, everything leads up to maybe it being a burglar, 
Because, like, to this day, there's a car in the driveway, um, but nobody was there. And, you know, you can roll that out and say somebody might have pulled in the driveway and then left. But I didn't hear a car leave, you know. And they cut the car off. As any, to, and to be honest, it looked like my dad's old car. All of that. It looked like my dad's old car. So I don't, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. Y'all try to explain it to me. But yeah, that was one of the creepier moments that has happened in that house. Um, I have a bunch more. Y'all want to hear it? Let me know. But yeah, creepy stuff. Alright, peace. Subscribe to me.